six singers here tonight. Three of whom are brand new to the Verona Walk open mic stage. So I'll give them a little bit of extra credit when they come up. Let's start the show with a classic. From 1971, a song by Don McLean. Does anybody have an idea what that might be? Oh, you have it on your set list. Darn, I thought this was a quiz. <laughs> so, performing American Pie, we have Ken Durning and accompaniment backup vocals by Rick Condal. <laughs> Thank you. 
and start the show. Thank you all for singing along. And now let's go a few more years from 1971 to 1976, and ABBA recorded Money, Money, Money. Yes, from Beth Cantal.
Marco. Are there any Donnas here tonight? Prima Donna Donnas? <laughs> well, there's one Prima Donna Donna who is not here tonight, and we miss her. She always performs, and that's Donna Rotella. She is out of town today, but you will all get to see Donna Rotella perform on the stage at the Sugden Theater with the Naples Players if you buy tickets for The Sound of Music. Yes, Donna is playing a nun, a singing nun in... She is definitely not typecast, huh, Charles? <laughs> and now, we're setting up for this next song, we have uh, the Beginnings Band, consisting of Joe Fusco, Linda Mitchell, and Bob Volatile. Their first song is... <laughs>
Thank you, sweet. She was wonderful. We have a new singer, well, he's not a new singer, but he's new to the open mic stage, named John Whip. John sings with several other folks here tonight who perform with the Voices of Naples. How many Voices of Naples singers do we have here tonight? Rick Condal, Cam Stucka, Lenny Molinari, Mike Gaia, John Wick. Did I forget anyone? I don't think Elaine's here tonight. All right, so John, come take the stage. He is going to sing a Garth Brooks tune called The Dance. Let's give it up for Alexa again. <laughs> Look, I'm going to kill you for putting me right after her. Yeah, I'm only 11 years old. You know, the comedian's on later. I am sorry. All right, go for it. This launched Mr. Brooks. Bye. 
Rick Condo and Rob Pittman on bass. Thank you. And thank you to my company, Big Barbies. Thank you. Girl, look 
Thank you, Thelma. That was just beautiful. Thanks so much. Are any of you here with your dream lover tonight? Yes. Bill Newton is here with his dream lover. Come on up, Bill. And he's going to sing Dream Lover from 1959 by Bobby Darren. So I'm the lucky guy that gets to follow the helm, but it's always good. Thanks, Rick. So this was uh, Dream Lover 1959, Bobby Down, and it went to number two on the chart station. Ready? This is the last time, too, did Thank you. 
tongue. The work is full of the birds chase to dreams and many spirits. From here everything seems small. The fairies come around to hide and hit the ground. Turn around and maybe starts planning. For what the future holds, although you're far from old, you're moisturizing and less time to tan. In the places you can't even itch. You can rip it up and scream it, but you never gonna lose it, but gravity is a bitch. act in this first set, after which we will take about a 15 minute um, intermission, maybe, what do you think, 20 to 8, uh, 7, 40, that-ish, and uh, come on back, get yourself some more to drink, we'll sound even better. Where's Bob? Come on up. I had a large family. I grew up. I had six sisters and four brothers. And we were we were the poorest family in town. And it was a lot of nights we didn't have anything to eat. But my mother would sit us down at the table, and she'd get out her cookbook, and she'd read recipes to us till we got full. <laughs> My brother was hard of hearing. He liked to starve to death. <laughs> yeah, if the wolf come knocking on our door, he'd better be bringing a picnic basket. A big one. Well, these two guys were talking, and uh, the guy says, uh, Are you a farmer? And he says, Yeah, I'm a farmer. He probably says, I got a hundred acres over here. And uh, the other guy says, Well, he says, You know, I get my truck in the morning and I drive for two hours to get to my property. 
The other farmer says, yeah, I had a truck like that once. <laughs> yeah, I belong to a drinking club with a real bad fishing problem. <laughs> These two guys were fishing buddies. They fished a lot of tournaments together. And they always wondered if there was bass fishing in heaven. And they made a pact that if one of the other died, that he'd come back and let him know. So the one guy passes away and gee, he's feeling so bad about it. And he wakes up the one morning, he hears him calling, Pat, Pat. He says, is that you, Mike? He says, yeah. He says, well, tell me, is there, is there he, bass fishing in heaven? He says, well, I got good news for you and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? He says, I want to hear the good news first. He says, yep, there's bass fishing in heaven, and they grow to 100 pounds. Wow, he says, what could be the bad news? He says, well, there's a tournament next Sunday, and you're my partner. <laughs> There was this plane that was going to be going down with four passengers, and they only had three parachutes. Well, the first guy says, well, I'm a rocket scientist, so I got to have one of them. And the other guy said, well, I'm the world's smartest man, well, I got to have one of them. Well, it was just left this priest and this, this schoolboy. And priest says, well, I've had a good life. He says, uh, you, can take the, you can take the other parachute. And the boy says, we got enough here. He says, the world's smartest man just took my backpack and jumped. <laughs> Wisconsin, you know, and I uh, got a kind of heavy foot, and I got caught speeding 90 miles an hour, and I knew I was in trouble when the cop said, comes up to me and says, Mister, he said, I've been waiting for you all day. Well, being a quick thinker, I said, well, I got here as quick as I could. <laughs>
Joan is going to sing this Kent Bingo, a Rogers and Hart tune.
to ground the crown and stepping through the dark. And I'm kept in the house to get the way away. And the stars look very different today.
with Joe Fusco. We just had a big birthday. <laughs> Favorite, you 
ukulele player and a left-handed ukulele player at that. I'm looking for it. <laughs> now hop along, Susan. Miss Susan Buckley. Doing her impersonation of Kermit the Frog. Rainbow Connection. If someone stood up in the crowd 
and raised their voice way out loud and they waved their arms and shook their leg. You didn't notice them. If someone in a movie show yelled fire in the second row, this whole place is a powder keg. You'd notice him. And even without talking like a hen, everyone gets noticed now and then. Unless, of course, that personage should be invisible, inconsequential. Me. Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane. Just big enough, I could park my old truck. A man with a big 
car was getting into his car. I stopped and I waited for him to back up. Then out of nowhere a Mercedes Benz came circling in with drawing some beach. Somewhere. There's nowhere to go when you got all day to get there. I stole my tie, super hot girl, smiling with her stone tan chest on some beach. Somewhere. I sat in that waiting room, seemed like all afternoon. The nurse finally said, Doc's ready for you. You're not gonna feel a thing. We'll give you some Novocaine. That tooth will be fine in a minute or two. He stuck that needle down deep in my gum. He started drilling before I was lost on beach. Somewhere. There's a beautiful sunset burning out the atmosphere. Music and dancing, lovers romancing in the salty night air on a sun beach. I 
Rock me, mama, like the wind and rain. Rock me, mama.